you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. And today, I'm going to go over a few things, opening up some Mutt Reward Packs that I did have saved from yesterday, as you guys probably already know. I'm Legend here, so I do think I get about three of them. I will be opening some Getter Golds, try to pull some of the new free agency players, maybe get a few of them, put them into a set. Maybe build the master, maybe get Byron Jones for free. Because you guys do I you guys do know I want him. And as well as going over some of the upcoming content that we may be expecting and some issues with the upcoming content we may have an issue with. I'll cover all that as the video goes on, guys. But as far as everything goes, free agency part two is over. We do know that. Free agency part three, will there be a part three? I don't know. Like, because there's obviously guys that haven't been signed yet, but a lot of them already got cards, like such as a clowny guy who already got a card. I don't know if there'll be a part three. I don't know if they said on stream. Remember when all this was coming out, I was in Florida. I was not here, so. I didn't really see the whole gist of everything, but guys, for agency for the most part, all the bangers are pretty much gone. So we're kind of looking towards the draft now. As you guys know, the draft would have been like two weeks away. There's a chance they might push that back. Now, will that affect Madden content? I'm not sure just yet. The actual draft content, yes. The path of the draft content, not entirely. I'm not entirely sure about that yet, but I'll give you guys kind of what I expect to see. It will be coming pretty soon. But before we get into all that, guys, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. As always, liking the video always helps the channel grow. So always keep that up if you're loyal. Comment down below if you guys have any questions and what are your opinions. As I get into the video, you'll see what I'm saying. What are your opinions towards the next up content and what you guys think about it? But, boys, let's head over to the unopened packs. Oh, we'll start opening some of the packs. I'm kind of curious. I got Legend here. We got three free agency packs. I don't open packs very often. So it'd be nice if I could just pull something here. Maybe get a decent pull. Put them into the set for Byron, make them pretty cheap because I do definitely want the Byron Jones. I actually have in the process of powering him up. I just need this journey card. And we got a full legend right there, Willie Brown. Guys, I have not gotten that many full legends this year. So it is exciting to get one, although we all know he goes for like probably 50k. But not many big X's this year. But that is pretty solid of a free agency pack. So no matter what else we get, still a decent pack no matter what. We get a gold that's hit from the other side. And we get that. So the last card will be a free agency player. And it's a, yeah, it's, it's a free agency. That throws me off. It's literally a, it's literally an elite animation. I was so confused. Clayton Geethers, 88. Okay, so 88 to 90. Not a bad pack at all, to be quite honest with you guys. I mean, I do wish I could have gotten better. I wish I can get a full player, but I can't complain when I get a full legend. All right, so we get the, I believe that is the free agency player right there. 89 Carl Joseph. Eh, and not too great. Good hit power, though. Really good hit power. Everything else kind of sucks, though. He looks like he's just like a run support type safety. All right, we get a harvest card right there, and that is a quadre digs all right now we're looking for there and then we get an xavier sue afilo i look like chick-fil-a to me right there all right final pack for our mutt rewards and we're gonna head over to these maybe some get a gold okay there our first player is the free agency player 88 paul richardson jr now we do have like six other slots we could maybe hit big in these kare vedvik punter silver let's hit it from the back another gold roosevelt Knicks. let's hit it from the other side another gold chris hogan and for the final card we get a silver so those packs weren't too great they started off looking like they could have been decent and then they weren't now i'm gonna do like i'm gonna open up like one set of get a golds real quick before we get into all the content stuff i'm just kind of curious to see if you can maybe pull some i don't know what the pull rate is out of all of these packs like this i really don't know what they are but let's try luck with it because like i said if i get 96 that will really cut down the cost on byron i probably end up doing the set at that point so we get a team of the week right there 77 eric harris that's not too great I, you know it sucks that it's a base lead animation, so if I get a base lead, I won't know if it's a base lead or if it's a free agency player. That is very similar. I, that, that was very lazy on EA's part, to be honest with you guys. I thought, like, from videos I've seen, I thought it would have been, like, a pinkish red. No, it, it, I, like, I thought, like, I wasn't seeing it properly. No, it, it's red. There we go. So, is that a free agency player? Is that, it's Melvin Gordon. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know. I got to take it. What sucks at this point is that, that Melvin Gordon doesn't even, none of that makes back my coins. We've gotten to that point of the year. Yeah, it's not too great to be quite honest with you guys. Now, I'm gonna pull up the paths of the draft page. We do get a power up right there, which is not Marshawn Lynch. That looks pretty cool to see, considering he's no longer, you know, he's not he, he used to be. It's always nice to see a throwback Lynch on the Seahawks. Obviously, he's there right now. I don't know if he ended up retiring or what he ended up doing there, but I do know that he is there, or at least he was trying to be there for their playoff run, which would have been super cool. I was really, I was like looking into it when he was first getting there. It would have been cool if we could have had a nice playoff run. Now guys, as far as the path of the draft goes, I'm going to pull you guys over to the screen to show you guys some of the stuff from last year. But here's the issue with paths of the draft that I was telling you guys about. It should be dropped. Last year, it dropped towards the end of March, which would be later this week. Now, it didn't drop the actual draft players. Like, let's say people are going to be drafted like 
Tua to Viglio. Tua to that. Tua, that's it. Tua, they, it won't be him. It'll be like guys who in the back, like guys who have been drafted before. So it'll be like early round master, which should be like a guy who did a like Jamal Adams, first rounder, fifth pick or whatever it was, sixth pick, early round master. A guy who was picked early and did, did great. Now, then there'd be a mid-round master, a guy who was taken in the middle round, like a Russell Wilson, 99 overall, middle-round master. Then it'll be a guy like a late-round master last year, which was Tom Brady, so like a guy who was taken late and him being really good. And in that case, it would be cool, but the issue is Tom Brady already got used, so it'd be someone else. And that could be like an undrafted master, someone who never got drafted, went as an undrafted rookie, ended up having a great career. Now, all those are cool things, but that would be what would have dropped towards the end of this month. Now, I don't think that should be delayed, because for the most part, that doesn't involve the actual draft players. So I think that will be okay. Now, the only way path to the draft really gets delayed is in the case that due to the whole COVID-19 issues that they end up pushing the draft back, which in that case, that will delay the rest of paths to the draft. Like the beginning, I think the beginning will still be there. Here's my concern though. What if they what if they delay it sooner than later and they announce it's like within this week and then EA decides to push everything back because they want everything to be a little closer? Because what if they drop this at the end of March and then the draft gets pushed back to May? Now you got a month and a half of time between the next end of the path of the draft. Like, I don't know what EA is going to do in that case. So they might play safe and just wait until they know there's a confirmed draft date and then go on ahead and drop it. But that's my only concern with that. And I'll head over to the screen to show you guys some of the screenshots. For some of the players that were dropped last year in path to the draft. Now remember, like I said, these guys such as Kyler Murray and Garrett were the... Uh, Kyler Murray was the actual draft in terms of what was going on, like the actual players drafted. Now, if you come on down, guys like Chris Harris, he's the, he was the undrafted master. So that's a guy that could have been dropped before the draft actually, like that draft doesn't need to happen because he's a guy that's already in the league. They know they're gonna use him. So this was the first part. This dropped towards the end of March and then like a week or two later, we had Pat to the draft, like rookie collection things for the pick you had. And then there was the actual rookies that were dropped. Tom Brady was the late round master. Six round. Telvin Smith, I believe, was the middle round master. Maybe another lead. I think it was another late round master. We had guys like Keyshawn Johnson, who was a early round master. First overall pick. Guys like Cam Newton can get something like that. He was another early pick. Then there was guys like Bruce Smith. I believe it was, let's see, let's see all the total years. There was Antonio Gates was one. There was, and some of these could be LTDs as well. But there's plenty of stuff that could drop prior. So we could easily make a whole mini promo before the actual draft happens of just late round, middle round, undrafted, early round. And much of that, and all the stuff of that nature. But the only issue is that I feel like I don't know if EA wants to keep the promo closer together because they do drop it this week, right? Like I said, and then the the news announces, you know, NFL forced to postpone draft till like late May. So now we have two months between the beginning of path of the draft and the end. That could really mess with Madden content. I don't know if EA would rather just wait until everything's confirmed before they end up going ahead and dropping that. And maybe they give us some other type of content for the time being to pass the time because obviously with how things are going could be an issue now some of these cars were really good though so do not sleep on them if we do end up getting them if you look at a guy like bruce smith he had 82 speed 80 excel 98 power move 97 finesse move 93 block shed 97 play rec 96 tackle really good looking card Keyshawn johnson powered up and chemed up on our team now he would have had a 97 98 speed 99 catch and traffic 99 catch 99 spec catch 99 short route running 99 medium route running and 97 deep route running or 98 actually would have been all 99s with a 97 speed with a six foot four frame would have been better than calvin johnson for the most part Cal oh, Cam Newton actually did get one. Cam Newton would have been decent this year. Oh, they always make Cam Newton cards kind of bad, to be honest. But stat this card would have been decent at this point. Telvin Smith would have been a great zone type guy with a decent pass rush. Would have really liked to have had him right around now. Except he's a right on linebacker, which I do not want. Tom Brady does not look actually better than the Tom Brady we have now. Uh, I mean, another throw, though. No, it does. This card is definitely better than the Brady we have now. So this Brady, this 99 Brady is a lot better than the 99 Brady we did. Oh, 98 plus powered up. It's a lot better so i mean these cards could be really good they're gonna be glitchy they're gonna be end game cards for the most part so i will look forward to them but like i said there could be some concerns with that and then pr past that will more than likely be the easter promo that i don't think that'll be delayed because it's obviously content. the only way madden content really starts getting bad is if people cannot work from home the coders can't do certain things or everything just stops entirely but for the most part i think we're gonna be pretty decent in terms of, I think they should still drop the path to the draft at the time it's due, and then we can just do it as a separate draft promo later on when they actually drop. Then we got Easter sometime in between there. Oh, after, after unless it's delayed, but Easter promo is usually pretty cool as well. And then hopefully they start dropping golden tickets. That, that will also just like kind of pass time a little bit. But let's head back over to the Madden screen. As you guys see, there's plenty of potential for a few things as far as path to the draft, Easter promo, golden tickets. I think they should still drop it anyways, but that is kind of what you can expect from the path to the draft promo coming up. Hopefully, like I said, last year it would have dropped in about three to four days. I don't know if that's gonna be the case at this point. They've not said anything. We just got free agency part two. 
I really don't know how they're gonna end up doing that. But if we do get it on time, which would be awesome, I do think there may be a decent chance that the draft in general gets the lead. Which in that case, don't expect guys like Tua, Herbert, um, Chase Young, guys like that to be out in any near in the near future. I'd expect that to be more towards end of April, early May if they do end up pushing for now. Which remember that push can even be later and later. Eventually it could just be like an online draft where players just can't show up and they just gotta post them online, which would really suck for all those players, and I'd really feel bad for all them who work so hard to get to that point. But that is what life's coming to at this point right now. So hopefully things end up working out, guys. I'm excited for all the content coming out. Hopefully everything comes out in a timely fashion, things don't get delayed, but just preparing you guys for what the possibilities are. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Hopefully you like some of the packs in the beginning of the video, although they were ass. But guys, that's about it. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.